I'm Shireen and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a plus size boutique owner, a plus size blogger as well as a plus size model. And today I just wanted to share with you some ideas that I have on how to dress up to go to the office. You know how sometimes when you see someone wear um, some clothing that looks totally awesome on them, um, it makes them look like a supermodel, but when you buy the exact same clothes and you put it on that yourself, um, it looks as if you got it off a flea market. So I'm just going to show you some tips and tricks to just make your outfit look more interesting. Like what I'm wearing right now is just a simple black blouse um, and skirt that I got from a Plastify. Now, um, this skirt and blouse unfortunately is already out of stock, but I got uh, I kept one set for myself because I loved it so much. And I'm just gonna show you how I would style this. So first thing first is the sleeves. Um, I am not a fan of long sleeves. The reason why is because I have short limbs and this does not look good on me. So what I would usually do is just to fold up the sleeves. Other than folding up the sleeves, you can also tuck in your shirt. Remember, tucking in is very important. Now, just by folding up the sleeves and tucking in my shirt, I have totally transformed my outfit to look more sharp, look more presentable, and I look as if I'm wearing the clothes rather than the clothes are wearing me. Next is um, mix in some colors. So what I'm going to do right now is to just switch the back heels out for a new pair of heels. I think this totally changed my position from like um, the receptionist intern to the manager boss. So other than uh, new heels, of course accessories are the best um, in changing a look. So I would recommend wearing a statement necklace that would this that will add not only color to the outfit but it will also change the outfit totally. So I'm just gonna show you what will happen if I just add a belt and add a statement necklace to this outfit. I have chosen a coral belt. Uh, the reason why is because I don't have any other colored belts but I would recommend uh, finding a belt that matches the statement necklace. I wanted to look for either a green or a pink belt but I don't happen to, but I don't have one in my closet which means shopping time but yeah so uh, as you can see adding a belt will totally define the waist and make me look actually more of an hourglass shape rather than one straight black piece i added extra details to the outfit rather than just one plain black i keep saying this but yeah it was one plain black girl of nothing so yeah adding a bit of color here and there adding some details would change your outfit totally I would also totally recommend trying out some prints uh, prints are totally in right now and uh, wearing it to the office can be a really fun thing to do so I'm just going to show you one blouse that I absolutely love that has a really nice simple print as you can see, I've changed into a subtle print top. I really love this top. I know that a lot of people can be really overwhelmed with prints, uh, thinking that prints are um, a bit too much or can be like, I don't know how to style this or it's going to show things that I do not want to show or emphasize things that I do not want to emphasize. Well, it is going to emphasize certain things, but you can choose to trick the eye into looking at things that you want to emphasize. So um, in this case, I'm wearing a printed top so it's going to emphasize my top, yes, but again, um, it might be overwhelming if let's say you just leave it hanging out like this. So again, tuck in your blouse. As you can see, now that it's tucked in, it looks much better. The next tip that I'm going to share with you is alterations. Alterations is really, really important when it comes to looking good in your outfit. So what happens is that when I get a bigger size, it tends to be longer. What I would need to do is to shorten uh, most of my pencil skirts or shorten most of my uh, dresses just to make it look much nicer on me. What I would usually do is just, uh, before you tuck it in, you just scratch out a bunch of the cloth at the back, pin it in and yeah, tuck it in so you can't see the pin and straight away you get a shape. And other than that, of course, for me, I always have the problem of um, having sleeves that's too long for me because I have short limbs, so I would pull up the sleeves. In this case, I wouldn't actually fold my sleeves. The reason why is because I like the black band that is available here. Other than that, I really like the detail of the neckline here of this blouse and how there is this black line in the center that totally makes my torso thinner and also longer. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to add a statement necklace for this top because it really doesn't need it uh, with the lines and stuff. So um, what I will usually do for a top like this is to add a statement earring. 
As you can see, I put on a pair of earrings. I really, really love this pair of earrings. I chose it because of the length as well as the color. I wanted something that could be casual and dressed up at the same time. So uh, this one really can be dressed up. I can wear it to dinner and it will still look uh, really dressy. The reason why is because of the length. It makes my neck look longer as well. Um, other than that, there is also the pastel color which makes it look more casual. So it's not like blinged up or something so I can wear it to the office if I want to so it's a more versatile type of earrings which I really love and my next outfit uh, is a shift dress shift dress are awesome awesome items to wear to, and to have in your closet the reason why is because it's really really comfortable I love my shift dress uh, if let's say I wanted something casual and I don't want to dress up I can just put it on and it's like I can go out in this, but if let's say I want to wear it to the office, then I might want to uh, change it up a bit. And a shift dress can look really nice. Again, it's just to do the things that we talked about before, and that is to just add the belt. In this case, because the shift dress is so simple and plain, uh, I decided to go for a more statement belt. A statement belt will again make the dress a bit more expensive looking. And then the next thing is of course my statement necklace. Um, and as you can see, it makes a total difference to my dress already. I can already walk out like this. But I'm just going to show you another tip which is wearing blazers. Uh, blazers, jackets, adds a lot to a work outfit and there is a reason why guys and girls dress up in blazers when they go to the office for presentations because it does look smart so i do like to buy blazers that are one or two sizes a bit smaller and it can't really button so i will usually get blazers that's a bit smaller as i mentioned just now and um and it will fall around here. In fact, this one is a bit too small. I think I put on a bit of weight. Yeah, usually I would like it to fall around here and that will give the illusion of actually a smaller body. The reason why is because it actually cuts out here. Now, the next outfit that I want to show you is the maxi dress. You can actually get this maxi dress in four different colors in Pacify as well. Um, this maxi dress is actually part of the summer uh, beach wear uh, collection. However, wearing maxi dresses is really in right now. In this case, this maxi dress looks a bit too casual to wear to the office. So I'm just going to like prim it up a bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to take off that sash and replace it with a uh, more presentable belt and that would totally make the maxi dress a bit more presentable and a bit more office wear already and again the accessories does matter so um, I am just going to put on a statement necklace this will make it look more um, presentable as well and a, a bit more dressed up now if let's say your office is a bit more open and sleeveless it's not a problem you can totally go to the office like this but if let's say you do need to wear sleeves or you um, do want to be more conservative uh, when you're going to the office then by all means put on a blazer now my next tip is uh, choosing a blazer that suits you uh, in this case this blazer does not really suit this outfit the reason why is because the outfit is already long it's already baggy and um, this blazer is a bit too long as well it doesn't show off my natural waist in fact it covers it this short blazer I actually got from Miss Reed um, it was on clearance sale like 70% off and I got it at a UK 16 and I love no, actually I got it at a smaller size again I like small, smaller size jackets uh, so that it doesn't actually button up it just covers and falls over here just so that it makes the illusion of me being thinner and as you can see just by shortening my blazer it actually gives me more of a waist in fact if it was a bit shorter I think it would look better but in this case it's still good yeah, and this is how I would usually dress up a maxi dress. Uh, I love how the jacket is actually shorter at the back and a bit longer in the front. This actually uh, helps me make my leg look longer. Just change it out for a more presentable belt, statement necklace, blazer, and it's totally fit for the office. And this is the last outfit of the day and with this I have actually two things to share. One is that I actually forgot to mention how important pencil skirts are. Um, pencil skirts are so versatile. Investing in a good pencil skirts is really really crucial because it can basically go with anything and you can wear it throughout the week with different different tops and nobody will actually know um, if you have a good pair of pencil skirts it will really help you look awesome in 
in the office as well. And for those fashionistas out there, just uh, have fun. You only live once, YOLO. And um, yeah, um, be confident, be happy with whatever that you chose to wear on that day. Make sure that it makes you feel awesome. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Do let me know what other tips or um, fashion styles that you want me to talk about in my next video and uh, in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.